Aquatic plants take on many different forms. Some grow rooted in shallow water with much of the plant sticking out of the water. These are called emergent plants. Other aquatic plants grow almost completely under the water and are called submerged plants. Still other aquatic plants are rooted and have floating leaves. Plants should be placed along the shoreline shelf in the littoral zone according to their preferred growing area. These areas are divided into four zones. Zone D is the deepest part of the littoral zone from two to five feet deep. This is where submerged and floating leaf plants grow best. Zone C is from one to two feet deep. Here is where emergent plants thrive. Zone B is from one foot deep in the water to one foot above the normal water line. Emergent and shoreline plants grow best here. Zone A is from one foot above the normal water line to two feet above the normal water line. This is where water-loving trees flourish. The most important part in developing an aquascape plan is determining the normal water line in your lake. The normal water line is the level at which your lake usually maintains itself. The simplest way to identify your lake's normal water line is to contact your county's environmental agency. Now that you've determined your normal water line, it's time to identify the size of the area you want to be aquascaped and the location and dimension of each planting zone. Remember to begin all your measurements from the normal water line. Next, determine the square footage of each zone by measuring its respective length and width. Then, compose a site plan like the one shown here. Now it's time to identify the plant species most appropriate for your lake's planting zones. Remember that different plants are adapted to grow best in different depths of water, so choose species appropriate for their specific zone. To help select your plants, you can obtain a list of commercially available native plants, including their recommended planting depth from your local aquatic nursery. When choosing aquatic plants, it's very important to make sure they are native to your area. Whether you shop at a store, through a catalog, or on the internet, choose a reputable nursery. Ask if the vendor is aware of what species are regionally and federally restricted. Here are some examples of native wetland species recommended for use in lakefront restoration and in planting shorelines of lakes, created ponds, and retention areas. Once you've chosen the species of aquatic plants you want for your lakefront, determine the number of plants needed for each zone according to the density you desire or by the density specified by your agency permit. Plant trees and shrubs at strategic locations or in clumps to achieve an aesthetic effect. 